El amor. Uh, love. Love. Love of humanity, of justice and truth. A real revolutionary goes where he is needed. When the political power ignores the people, a revolutionary might be well received. Nevertheless, you probably don't want the revolutionary under your roof for too long. This is your host Amelia and today we are talking about the intense world of the professional rebel. December 1989. A few supporters of the anti-communist priest Laszlo Tokes started shouting slogans against the system. They were soon joined by a crowd made up of passers-by and citizens of Timisoara City. Interestingly enough, the previously mentioned character has a long story of dissidence before and after 1989, whatever the system. Professional rebels make up a small revolution out of the blue. Their need for drama is great like that. In a restaurant, they'll ask for a Diet Coke and then they'll make a big scene because the tasteless drink was nothing to write home about. To the delight of any cameraman there's a magnetic attraction between the rebel and the obstacle because seemingly, the revolutions and the cameras fit together just fine. Maybe there's a right age when everyone is a little rebel but these individuals are permanently stuck in this attitude of always challenging the mainstream current and the majority. For instance, the adolescence is viewed as a transitional stage of development when challenging the authority and saying, no, is seen as a normal and even useful behavior, frequently adopted by teenagers in order to build a personal identity. As time goes by and as we grow older, the society loses its patience with us and the rebels are doomed to marginalization. But the eternal adolescents don't mind that because they believe that the show is the supreme prize and a merciless god at the same time. Moreover, the show must go on, right? Here are a few attributes of the rebel. The rebel loves drama. When you challenge the mainstream curtain and the majority, a drama is the expected outcome. Therefore, we should see the relationship between the rebel and the people around them like an actor-spectator relationship. The rebel also loves the obstacle, looks like between the two of them there's this genuine, never-ending love story. The rebels honestly suffer when their life becomes monotonous. They love la vida loca. The rebel has a negative frame of mind, their attention is always focused on the negative aspects and in their memory, the bad forever dwells. This is the evidence that they need for starting up the next revolution. The rebel is a victim, looks like the revolutions feed on the crookedness of the world and the rebel always detects it, with an infallible psychological device. If it wasn't for self-pity we'd never get the moral ground and the energy to challenge the authority. The rebel is a perfectionist. After all, the professional rebel has good intentions, social justice, equality and a better world. Nevertheless, it would be sad to find out that rebels are just unable to live peacefully in the world they dream of. The rebel is an extremist. A 
Undoubtedly, this professional rebel is intolerant, has the energy and a call for good flights. Moreover, they have a taste for vulgar displays of violence. They are brave to the point of madness. The professional rebel is emotionally labile. There's a lot of excitement in a rebel's mindset and personality. They react promptly and impulsively, and they'd need a significant evolutionary leap to turn their chaotic actions into a well-devised plan. Revolutions are based on anger explosions, on that spark that ignites the crowd. Well, the spark comes from the professional rebel. He owns it. The professional rebel is a masochist. They know that a violent revolution causes pain in every possible form, but they somehow manage to ignore this and face the prospect recklessly. They act like they have nothing to lose and their lives aren't more important than their anarchist mission. The professional rebel is an opportunist. While never elegant or a place for rational behavior, revolutions can be resourceful and lucrative for those who lead the crowds towards victory. The king is dead. Long live the king. The professional rebel is a sucker for conspiracy theories. If one follows the train of their thoughts one might find out that a rebel's thoughts are always influenced by irrational fears and hypotheses, which they take very seriously and regard as 100% real. This makes the rebel vulnerable, labile, and puts them in a constant state of turmoil and emotional crisis. The professional rebel or the opposer finds meaning in a behavior of contesting authority. They want to be independent but also, they feed on the illusion of having a great impact on the crowds and being able to manipulate and influence the masses. Also, for people like them, the revolution is a dangerous opportunity to grow in social status. With social interest, the professional rebel becomes the one that creates unique solutions for the world's problems. They can be thinkers and original creators of new ideas. They have what it takes to succeed in solving the small or great problems of the community and the world.